So this is the Huawei P40 Pro and it's just been set up out of the box. It's an incredible smartphone but one thing that's missing on it is Google Play services and that's exactly what we're installing on it today. This method works for other Huawei smartphones that do not come with GMS support and aside from the phone, you're gonna need a USB drive loaded with the files required that you can grab from the description below and you'll need to copy these files to the root of your USB drive just like so and you'll also need an adapter or dongle that helps you connect the USB drive to your smartphone. Once you're set up, just make sure your USB drive is registering on the smartphone by going into files, check that your phone has an active internet connection, and make sure you backup and restore anything that's important on the phone. And then go ahead to the settings, scroll down to system and updates, and hit backup and restore. You'll need to select data backup and then select external storage. Here you'll need to select USB storage and there you'll see one of our files that we loaded on the USB drive from before. Go ahead and click on it and ensure that everything is ticked and then click restore. It'll prompt you for a password and that's the exact password you see on screen. So just enter it and once you do, you can click OK and it'll take a second or two to install. Now go back to your homepage and clear all your background applications. If you scroll through your homepage, you'll now see an application with the purple G icon, which you need to open. Once you open it, click on activate and then click allow and you'll see a lot of error messages on screen. At this point, return to the home screen and clear the application from the background memory and then restart it again. Then click on the blue button and let the application run in the background. Now go to your files, go back to your USB drive and select Google installation. You're gonna see nine applications on screen and at this stage, you'll need to install the first six applications. Once complete, go into settings and then select users and accounts. Click on add an account and you'll see this Google option. Hit OK on the error message and then select existing. It'll take some time to prepare and then you can enter your credentials, both email and password. Then click sign in and next. At this stage, you'll see the Google account on the phone and if you plan to add any more Google accounts or if you have any more, make sure you add them at this stage because you won't be able to do it once you go through with this process. So just keep that in mind. Now you can go ahead and clear your memory, go into files, select the USB drive, Google installation once again, and then you're going to need to install the seventh application, which is Google Services Framework. Once installed, you'll need to give the phone a bit of time before you start seeing error messages from the Google Play services, and if they get annoying, just put your phone on silent mode. But you'll also see Google Play updating, so just make sure you go through with that. To fix the error messages now, you're gonna need to go into the Google Play Store and search for an application called Device ID by vTechno. Once installed, you can go ahead and open the application and you'll see a Google Services Framework or GSFID. Next, you'll need to clear your memory, go back to settings, click on apps, and click on the option to show system processes. Search for Google Play services and click on force stop, and then uninstall Google Play services. Clear your memory once again, and then go into files, again through your USB drive and into the Google installation folder and install the eighth application on screen. You'll still see the error notification, so go back to your settings, go to your apps, Click on Show System Processes and find Google Services Framework. Click on Storage and clear both the cache and the data for Google Services Framework. Once you're done with that, you can go back to Device ID and you'll see that there is no GSF ID associated with the phone anymore. So at this stage, you'll need to regenerate the GSF ID and in order to do that, you'll want to open up the Google Play Store once again. For us, it opened up fine, but for some of you, you might see an error message with a retry option. So while the Play Store is functional, you'll need to hop into Device ID to see if your GSF has regenerated. So at this stage, it hasn't for us, so we'll just keep opening and closing the Google Play Store until the the phone is able to regenerate the GSF ID. For those of you who see the retry option on the Play Store, you'll need to do the same by tapping on retry over and over until the Play Store loads up and then rechecking your GSF ID by going into device ID and just keep doing that until the ID regenerates, just like so. Once done, you'll notice no more errors showing up, which is a great sign and then all you have to do is one last thing. Go back into your settings, apps, click on show system processes, search for Google and click on Google Play services. You'll need to force stop and then uninstall these. Go back to files, USB drive, Google installation folder and install the ninth application on that list, which is the last one. 
Once done, you should be good to go. If everything's gone well, you should be able to see the Google Play Store load with no errors and just to test it, we'll download a few applications from Google and upon completion, they work just as they should. Just something to keep in mind, every time you restart the phone, you will get one error message, but aside from that, nothing should pop up during regular usage. So that wraps up this video. Once again, the links to all the files that you need are in the description down below. And if you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.